Welcome to the last Culebra and Puerto Rico video of this series. In this video we go hunting for turtles in Playa Tamarindo in Culebra, an island off the east coast of Puerto Rico. I'll let you know exactly where to find tons of turtles and the best time of day to see them. And if you're lucky, you may just see the coolest thing you've ever seen underwater. Hint, it's an octopus and I got some incredible shots of it. And you won't believe all the shapes and colors this octopus changes into. I'll also give you some crazy facts about the octopus. Like did you know some octopuses will eat their own arms when they're bored? An octopus also has three hearts and blue blood, which I'll talk more about. Well, we made it back to Tamarindo. It's supposed to be here early in the morning before everybody scares off the turtles. Only see a couple people, so I think we're all right. Turtles and stingrays were great, but then I saw something moving under the water that didn't look like a turtle or a ray. Once I figured out what it was, I raised my head above the water and started yelling for Shannon to come over. People probably thought I had found a pot of gold as exuberant as I was. It was an octopus and we've been looking for one forever. Well, a very long time. We've been diving for 25 years or so in over 15 countries and have never really seen an octopus out in the open. The closest we ever got was a few hiding in some rocks in Honolulu and one hiding on a night dive we did in the US Virgin Islands. Octopuses are fairly common, but they have always eluded us. This octopus starts showing some brilliant colors here in a minute. And I'll get to some crazy facts about these cephalopods. That was absolutely phenomenal. Tons of turtles, sometimes two, three at a time, and a lot of stingrays, and the holy grail. We've been diving and snorkeling for 25 years, and somehow we've never really seen an octopus. We've seen a couple way down in the rocks but that guy was just scurrying out in shallow water over the sand that was absolutely cool it's changing colors it's gonna be some good video it's gonna be good An octopus has eight legs, and the Greek word octopus means eight foot. Octopuses is the preferred plural for octopus, but it does sound funny. So octopuses are extremely intelligent. They have a larger brain for their body size than all animals except birds and mammals. In addition to the large central brain, each of the arms of an octopus also has its own brain 
allowing the arms to act independently. Octopuses have blue blood because of a copper-rich protein. Blue blood does not transport oxygen very well, so an octopus compensates by having three hearts, one for the body and two for the gills. Octopuses can use tools and solve puzzles. They have been known to open jar lids to access the food inside. At least one octopus has been known to open child-proof pill bottles. What's up, Colonel Sanders? What? What you doing, chicken? I said to get here before nine if you wanted to be able to see any turtles, but it's about noon and that's when we started to see the most. So I think you could probably come out here about any time of the day. The best place to see turtles in Puerto Rico is in Culebra, and the best place in Culebra is right here at Tamarindo Island. You will most likely see two kinds of turtles here, the green turtle and the hawksbill turtle. This is a hawksbill turtle and you can tell by its narrow pointed beak. Hawksbill turtles also have overlapping scales on their shells that form a distinctive serrated look on the edges. This makes their shells highly valuable and a big reason they are an endangered species. This is great out here. This is Tamarind Beach. Not Grand Tamarind, but Tamarind. Tamarindo. Uh, did you come out here? So you'll, you'll start over here with all the people. Come out to the left area over here. Kind of where those people are. That's where most of the turtles are hanging out. We were here at nine in the morning, but we started seeing more around uh, noon. Octopuses emit ink, which distracts animals, and it also causes some blinding irritation and affects the predator's sense of taste and smell. Each one of them has some poison, but not usually enough to hurt humans, depending on the species. Some do have enough to kill a person very fast. This is a Caribbean octopus and is one of the most colorful of all octopuses. This octopus in particular will shape itself into a parachute and trap its food. Culebra is pretty awesome. definitely be coming back here it's set up really well There's tons of beaches just every cove every half a mile is another beach so some are really pretty some are really good for snorkeling some are both these Caribbean octopuses will reach full adult size in about five months and then they are ready to mate Octopuses are semoparous, which means they die after they mate. I think I know people like that. Due to chemical changes in the brain, the male stops eating after mating, and the female will actually torture and eat herself after her eggs have hatched. It's possible this is a mechanism to prevent overpopulation. I'm 
gonna grow gills if I don't get out of the water. These are green sea turtles, and sea turtles also have some interesting facts. They think jellyfish are delicious, but you'll most likely find them in the sandy areas eating the seagrass. That is why they are known as the ocean's lawnmowers. They keep the grass short, which in turn protects the other marine creatures. Sea turtles can't retract into their shells, and the outside temperature dictates the sex of the baby turtles. The warmer it is, the more females that are born. Sea turtles can hold their breath for up to five hours underwater by slowing their heart rate up to nine minutes between beats. And they can live to up to 100 years old. In Culebra, you will most likely see southern stingrays. Make sure not to step on their venomous barbs. With their flat bodies, they can hide in the sand very well. They actually sleep in the sand, leaving their defensive barb out to protect themselves. If you're out in the ocean, you might want to drag or shuffle your feet to scare off any sleeping stingrays. Stingrays are carnivores and live on animals under the sand. Stingrays are closely related to sharks, and stingray babies, called pups, are born fully developed. You won't see much coral or very many fish here at Playa Tamarindo. This is where you come to see the turtles and stingrays. If you want to see lots of coral and fish, see my other snorkeling guides on Culebra. We snorkel in our next adventure, but we also do quite a few other activities. I'm surprised we even saw this octopus, since they usually hide during the day and search for food at night. Some of our other favorite things we've seen underwater are sea lions, seahorses, frogfish, eagle rays and manta rays, manatees, sharks that could eat you, and all kinds of eels and dolphins. We once did a liveaboard in Thailand where we swam with a whale shark and I thought that would be the coolest thing we ever saw underwater, but this was a close match. Probably since we've waited so long to see one. Octopuses are cephalopods and they have lived for over 296 million years. And they are masters of camouflage. Not only can they change colors in the blink of an eye, they can change their texture to match the environment and also mimic other sea creatures like the lionfish, jellyfish, sea snakes, and more, like rocks and plants. Heck, we've probably seen octopuses before and just didn't know it. If you watch our Playa Rosario video, I do swim right over one and didn't realize it until I started editing the video. Man, that's the best, uh... That's the best snorkeling I think we've done since Hanama Bay in Oahu. That was absolutely phenomenal. I can't believe how many turtles were out there. Alright guys, hope this information was useful. Make sure to check out our other Puerto Rico videos. Subscribe, like, and we'll see you next time.